Roberto Gomez Jr., born November 29, 1961, in Far, Texas, son to Roberto and Bertha Gomez. Robert, a lover of life who bemused and inspired students, colleagues, and family members, ended his ferocious war with cancer on September 29th at peace and at home. Before moving to Austin with his family in 2013, Robert's dedication to the high school theater community of the Rio Grande Valley was beyond compare. Over 32 years as a drama speech teacher, he routinely doubled up as a father figure, friend, life coach, and mentor all on top of serving as a director and contest manager and judge for the annual UIL One Act Play Contest. There was no greater priority for Robert than his huge family of students. The Valley would feel Robert's open-hearted passion for years to come. One, two, three. Robert, 54, outlived his doctor's original prognosis by more than a year. Filled with faith, the 1984 University of Texas at Austin graduate and former U.S. Marine continued to live his life as he had, in service to others through his church and celebrating every moment with those he held so dearly, his children, lifelong friends, and theater family. In the words of Cristela Alonso. When I was a freshman in high school, we did a Mexican version of the Diary of Anne Frank for our freshman one-act play competition. No one thought it was weird, and we ended up winning that year. What I was taught at the age of 15 was that, as a Latina actress, I wasn't limited to playing roles strictly written for Latinos. I could be anything I wanted, even if that meant having to write the words I'll perform myself. That was a lesson taught to me by my drama teacher, Mr. Robert Gomez. And yesterday, I woke up to the news that he had passed away. I was very fortunate to learn that lesson as a teenager because it's something I've carried with me ever since. I took it to mean we are given limits by other people. Our job is to prove them wrong. My heart goes out to Mr. Gomez's family. It's funny that even after graduating, I find it strange to ever call him by his first name. It's always been Mr. Gomez. I write this because it's important for people to be reminded of the impact that a teacher can have on someone's life. A teacher's job is to help mold someone into what they'll become, and Mr. Gomez was in fact very instrumental in my life. Thank you, Mr. Gomez, for showing me the making of Miss Saigon documentary when I was a teenager. Thank you for driving us around the state of Texas on the weekends so that we could compete in tournaments. Thank you for the countless hours you put into directing us into so many plays and musicals. 
But more importantly, thank you for helping me learn that an actor can be whatever they want. Like a Mexican-American girl getting to do a production of The Diary of Anne Frank. This lesson is something I like to pay forward to other people, so in a way, it keeps your legacy going. Delete the illusion, fantasy to study, battles, barbarous and bloody. Join us, sit where everybody can see. We've got magic to do, just for you. Legends can be now and forever Loved by the sun Loved by the sun Loved Who sings of all of love's eternity 
meeting of all wisdom. Sweet songs of youth, the wise, the meeting of all wisdom. Sweet songs of youth, the wise, the meeting of all wisdom. Sweet songs of youth, the wise, the meeting of all wisdom. To believe in the good in man. To believe in the good in man. <laughs> 